A lot of my clients are looking to relocate to Greenville from either within South Carolina or from out of South Carolina, like places like California, New York, Charlotte, Atlanta, the Midwest, or just the general Northeast. Many of these people are looking for their last or their second to last home when they are looking to relocate to Greenville. So in this video, we're gonna talk about whether moving to Greenville and retiring here is the right choice for you. We'll cover topics like communities, people, cost of living, what life is like here. We'll briefly talk about the weather and hopefully ultimately let you decide whether or not Greenville would be the right place for you to retire to. Let's do it. As always, folks, my name is Will Sawyer, your friend in real estate here in the upstate of South Carolina. And it's my goal with this channel that I am going to be your number one resource for all the things that you need to know about your Greenville relocation. So if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment in the comments. I'd love to meet you there in the comments. Let's get into the video. So first things first, what are the people like here in Greenville? Well, there's just over 500,000 people here in Greenville County. There's just over a million in Greenville, Spartanburg and Anderson counties. The people here, they're nice. Uh, whether or not you're from here, you recently relocated here, or you relocated here 20 years ago, a lot of people that you're gonna encounter when you come to visit or you ultimately move here um, are gonna be pleasant. They're gonna say, yes ma'am, no ma'am. They're gonna say, thank you. And people hold the door for each other. And I think that's the way life should be. Age ranges here in Greenville, so from 45 to 65, it's about 25% of the population here in our area. And ages over 65 are gonna be about 16, 17% of the population here in Greenville. So secondly, what is the community like here in Greenville? So if you actually live in downtown Greenville, Greenville speaks for itself. Quickly, you'll notice how clean the city is, how much greenery there is in the city. You gotta go to Falls Park or Unity Park, where we are today. They're the cornerstones of Greenville. A lot of people that relocate to downtown talk about how walkable downtown is. This is just a quick walk to the heart of downtown, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. You'll see a lot of people running, walking, biking in the mornings and in the evenings. And there's right behind me the commons. That's a good place to stop for some coffee or beer or lunch while you're out on a morning walk. Greenville is also a very active community. So like I just mentioned, a lot of bike riders, a lot of trail riders, uh, a lot of runners and a lot of walkers. Um, also, there's several gyms that you can join and you can be active almost every day at. I have a client who loves to play tennis and he plays tennis at sports club every day of the week. So he's got a great community there. A lot of pickleball is played here. A lot of golf is played here. There's over 20 golf courses here just in the upstate. So if you're a big golfer, it's not gonna be hard for you to find community there as well. There's a big art scene here in Greenville as well. So if you're into the arts, if you're into theater, there's definitely a spot for you here in Greenville too. Logistically, Greenville's pretty easy to get around as well. So there's a few major highways. So from Greenville to Spartanburg, there's Highway 29. Uh, from Greenville to Malden, there's 276, which is called Lawrence Road. And then from Greenville to Traveler's Rest, there's 276, which we call Points at Highway. And then from Greenville to Easley, there's called 123. And then the major interstates here is Interstate 85. The smaller interstates would be I-385, which will take you from Simpsonville, really all the way down into Clinton, right into the heart of downtown Greenville. So Greenville's super easy to get around. Uh, the city's been uh, developed really well logistically. 
so you're not going to have a hard time driving around to wherever you need to get to. So cost of living here in Greenville, what's that like? Well, cost of living overall in Greenville is about 10% cheaper than the rest of the country. Um, our property taxes, you're going to range from $1,200 to $3,000 a year. Home insurance is going to range from $600 to $1,200 a year. You really don't pay a lot of flood insurance here. If you're in an HOA, on average, you're going to be $400 to $500 a year. Gas at the time of this recording is under $3 a gallon. I was having dinner with a client from California a couple nights ago and he couldn't get over how cheap gas was. I think the price of gas, I think he said, was a little bit over $6.50 a gallon in California. So over double what you would pay here in South Carolina. Also, home prices. So uh, just last month, average home price here in Greenville was about $381,000. Uh, in the United States, the median average was about $415,000. So home prices here in Greenville are still trending below the national average that the United States is seeing as a whole. So real quick on weather, uh, compared to places like Florida or Myrtle Beach or Charleston in South Carolina, you know, Greenville's got pretty moderate weather. We're not gonna have the humidity that Florida does. We're not gonna have that sticky, just ocean heat that Myrtle Beach and Charleston do either. You know, we're a thousand feet above sea level here in Greenville. So uh, we really don't get any effects of hurricanes, uh, significant effects rather. You know, we do have some residual rainfall as a hurricane turns back out to the ocean, but we're never gonna get really powerful winds here. Hardly ever we'll find hurricane damage here. Uh, it rarely floods here in Greenville. Um, there's rarely ever any significant tornadoes here. So overall, pretty moderate weather. So if you are looking to retire to Greenville, where should you be looking for your next home? Well, there's a lot of different communities that I think you could consider depending on budget, depending on needs, depending on your conveniences. But a few that come to mind, like I've previously mentioned, there's not a ton of master plan communities here in our area, but there are a few. Uh, some that come to mind that are focused on uh, folks that are 55 and older would be a lot of cottage style communities that I've mentioned in previous videos, Rolling Green Village, uh, the Ravines, which is a collection of communities scattered throughout the upstate, as well as Swansgate, which is near downtown Greenville. Now, if you're looking to be downtown, if you want to be in an area that's uh, super walkable where you can walk to a lot of restaurants from your front doorsteps. I do recommend looking in downtown and not necessarily a suburb because Greenville is going to be by far the most walkable part of the upstate compared to really any of the suburbs. And finally, if you're looking at a little bit more of an exclusive price point, uh, if you want to be in a gated community, there's a few communities that I think you should consider. The first being the collection of the Cliffs communities, which are in the mountain region of the upstate as well as the lake region of the upstate. And then you have Hartness, which is on Highway 14, which is convenient to the airport and Interstate 85. And lastly, you have Acadia, which is in Piedmont, which is about five minutes from downtown Greenville. So it's a new urban development, just like Hartness. It's really focused on walking um, and there's a lot to love about those three communities as well. So I hope you found all of that information helpful. And if you are seriously considering retiring here to Greenville, I would love to chat with you. So please shoot me a text at my cell phone number below or shoot me an email at my email below. I would love to meet you very soon. Thanks so much. So if you've been doing your research about Greenville, South Carolina, suburbs that are super popular today, on the Swamp Rabbit Trail, or an extension of the Swamp Rabbit Trail that's going to build, is we have a lot of cottage style or maintenance free living communities. Now, relative to other parts of the Southeast, Greenville still has a pretty low cost of living. 